Okay, VT, this is our next. If you would run, please. between Jan Madges of Southampton. And in this corner from Crawley, Alan of Boom Boom Minton. At the weight in Madges scaled 11 stone, five and a quarter pound. Minton scaled 11 stone, six pound. Your referee, Benny Kaplan, and your timekeeper, Tom Powell. Thank you. Return match between Alan Minter, the Southpaw style, leading with the right with the wide white waistband to his trunks, and Jan Majerish, who is 25 and comes from Southampton, who holds this surprise win over Minter, which he obtained just a few weeks ago, six weeks ago, as a matter of fact, in this Albert Hall ring, when he stopped Minter in the third round on a cut eye decision. Now there's no love loss between these two. They met several times as amateurs. And they've met just as once before as professionals and Majoris got that upset decision over Minter. And since then, the words have been flying thick and fast between these two, giving some idea of uh, the hostility between them. In fact, uh, Minter has complained that Majoris is the only man he's ever met who won't shake hands with him. And Majoris says his ambition is to knock Minter spark cold. Well, they've got their chance here in the return match to do what they like to each other. So here we go. Minter with the wide, white waistband, leading with his right against Jan Majeriz, born of Polish refugee parents. Minter wearing the new style of boxing trunks which are rapidly becoming popular. John Conte is one uh, champion who wears this type of uh, boxing shorts. It was the right eye of Minters that let him down before and in fact it wasn't the first time that his right eye had let him down. His only other defeat as a pro came from exactly the same type of injury on the right eye and in a fight earlier this year against Pat Brogan at Bethnal Green he had it cut then although he won the fight so we're just wondering whether Minter might be a sort of Henry Cooper of the middleweights Minter looking just a little bit flash in this first round certainly leading when the end came in the first fight that pulled him off balance not a knockdown and Minter really is looking determined and boxing about twice as fast in the first round as he normally does and Majerus has hardly got near him for three minutes Fifteen pro fights behind him now, Minter. Thirteen wins, two defeats, both of those defeats 
on a cut right eye. 22 years old, this is the young man who picked up a bronze medal in the 1972 Olympic Games in Munich. He turned professional in October last year after he won the Olympic medal. He was beaten in the semi-finals in the Olympic Games by the eventual winner of the gold medal, the West German Dieter Kottisch. There really is a lot of needle in this fight, and part of the reason is that Majerus, although he's had only nine fights, is still unbeaten as a pro. Everybody expected him to uh, suffer his first setback when he met Minter the first time six weeks ago. <coughs> but of course he came up with a win. So now he's protecting that unbeaten record. Eight wins and one draw. This uh, curly-haired, auburn-haired <coughs> Southampton boy, Jan Majerus. Looked to have a lot of weight, but uh, he's clearly a little bit hurt. But he kept on the referee. So the unbeaten record now is looking in real danger. His right eye is looking a bit red again. This is the one that was damaged the first time in the first fight, and again, above the eye, it looks just a little bit angry and red. sort of needle there is in this match between these two. friend in the audience. And there's no sign at the moment the Majerus has any inclination of how to win this one. And strictly on the defensive. in that second round as though he might be in real trouble. 